Uh, hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom slider and obviously you're going to need to be jailbroken and through Cydia you're going to have to have Winterboard installed but I'm sure most of you have already got that installed um, and Winterboard we're going to be using for applying our custom slider and on the computer you're going to have to have a picture editing software and the one that I'm going to be using is called paint.net it's a free one and I'll have a download link in my description or if you have any other paint editing software like Adobe Photoshop that will be quite good um, and you also need to know how to SSH and SSH is the way that we're going to be transferring our files from our computer to our device so if you don't know how to do that um, there will just be an annotation and then yeah, just watch the video okay so let's get started so our slider is going to have the dimensions of 142 width and 94 height but the width can be changed but I suggest you keep the same height and so we're going to have to make three different ones or you can keep the all of them the same one so the first one we're going to be making is in this as the slider in your lock screen and it's going to have the name of bottom bar knob gray so go ahead and open up paint.net I've already opened mine up and I've got some examples of sliders here so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this bright one over here so you'd use the select tool over here to select it and I've selected and then you would go control C to copy it then what you do is get a new one from here just click new up here then for the width we're going to be putting in 142 and our height's going to be 94 and make sure you've unticked this thing that says maintain aspect ratio okay and then click OK Okay, then you should get this then what we're going to be doing is using the select tool again and then we're going to be taking out this white background okay, so once you've done that um, you should be left with something like this so then the next step is to copy it onto here so you can just simply just go control V and you should get this so the next step is we're going to make it fit into the thing okay I made it fit so the next step that we have to do is we have to take out this black background outside and what we're gonna be uh, you can mo with most times you can just use this thing called the magic wand and what you do is just select on the back background and it should take it out but with this one it will also take out this other part over here and I don't want it to do that so then what we're gonna have to do is just use manually just take it out by using the rectangle select tool and uh, the eraser Okay, so now I've taken it out. I've taken out the black background, and now I've now if you wanted to note to zoom in, you just click Control and you scroll. And if you wanted to actually make it a fit a bit more, you'd use a select tool again, and you'd select it by doing that. And then you'd use the move selected pixels, and then you can increase it from here note it does get a bit blurry okay but it will look okay when I zoom out there okay there it is probably increase it a bit more there okay now once you've done that what you're gonna do is click file save as and then I'm gonna save mine into desktop and then I'm gonna name it bottom bar knob gray and then note you have to have the PNG format and then click save and then make sure you leave it on auto detect and then click OK okay so it's saved so the next thing that we're gonna have to do um, say this is the gray one which will be the one in your lock screen and the next slider that we're gonna have to make is for answering a call and it's gonna have the name of button bar knob green but since I'm using the same slider three times I'm not gonna actually make that one so and the next slider that we have to use is for turning off our device and it's the one that's red and it's going to be named bottom bar knob red so and same again I'm going to be using the same one three times so I'm not going to be worrying about that so once you've made so you, once you've made all three of those files see I've got one here this is the one I made so I'm going to have to make three uh, two more of this so I'm just going to copy and then paste so I've got three here See then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take out the copy of part and I'm just gonna name them the right ones. Okay, 
Okay, and then the next thing we have to do is make a duplicate of each one. So I'll make a duplicate just by hitting Control C and Control V. And then instead of uh, bottom and button or gray, with this one we're going to be writing at 2x. And then we're going to do the same for all three of them. So they're all going to have the name at the end of at 2x. Oops. Okay, see now I've got all my sliders. Now the next thing that we have to do is make a new folder and then we're going to name it anything you want. And this will be the name that comes uh, in, up in Winterboard. So I'm just going to call it my custom slider. And then put dot theme. Okay, so we're going to open that up. Okay, and then we're going to make another folder in here called bundles. And then in there, we're going to make another folder in there called com.apple, sorry, dot telephony, which is capital T E L E P H R telephony, and then capital U and then capital I. Open that up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just simply going to copy those sliders. In this case, I just moved them. So you can see I've got all of them, and the next thing that we, the next step that we have to do is transfer the files. So we're going to open up WinSCP. That's the program that we're going to be using to transfer the files. And then, yeah, if, and then you're going to be following the instructions for SSH. I've already saved mine, and I'm just going to click login. So once you've logged in, um, you're going to want to go to. You're gonna, it should come up with library and media. If it's not there, then you should put it to the root thing here. And then um, go back over here. And then we're going to click on stash. And then we're going to click on themes. And yours might have themes.ct or something else. But mine says ct28. But yours might be different. So open that up. And then what, these, are, these should be all your themes. So then the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to copy that. Uh, my custom slider theme folder and mine's in my desktop so you can just look for it over here so I go to my desktop and I just copy it over here make sure you're not on top of anything and it shouldn't go blue so I'm just gonna copy mine here okay and then so if you've done it right it should come up this thing here and then click copy okay now it's copied and I've got it over here and then here's here it is I've got the stuff here and the next step that we have to do is apply the theme Okay, so once you're on iPod Touch, you're just going to head over to Winterboard, which is mine over here. So open that up. And then click Select Themes, and then see yours should be over here. And there is my one that says My Custom Slider. So what you're going to do is just tick that, and then go back to Winterboard, and then click Respring up there. Okay, so once you've applied your theme, it should have, see, look, mine's my sprite slider there, and it's worked, and if you do want it to say something else, like, cause mine says, you know how it says, slide to unlock, but say if you wanted to say, like, slide to sprite or something, just look at my other video, um, which is, there'll be an annotation right there, um, just open that up, and, um, if you did like this video, please rate, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.